Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Hi, my name is Emily if you're new here. If not, welcome back. Today I've got another pack with me. I'm heading off on Wednesday, so the day you're watching this, to Paris on a girl's trip. I am so excited. So I thought we would pack together. Now, like I said, I'm literally going the day you're watching this. So if you want to follow along real time, make sure you follow my Instagram, maybe turn my notifications on or interact with a few of my posts so you actually kind of get served my bits whilst I'm there. I'm gonna be storing everything. Now, there will of course be a vlog but if you don't want to wait until next week then I'll be over on my Instagram. So I have some cute little bits that I'm very excited to take with me. I showed quite a few of these actually in, I think it was in my previous pack with me. So I'm very excited to finally be wearing them. All right, let me get my suitcase out. So the weather's set to be around 18, 19 degrees, which means it's gonna be lovely in the day, but I'm assuming get a little chillier in the evening. So I'm gonna try and pack accordingly. I'm thinking layers, but I definitely wanna get my legs out. <laughs> so we're doing three nights, four days. And obviously one of those days will be a travel day on the way there and then the other one will be travel day on the way home. So really, I only need like two full on daytime outfits, but I'm going to take options because it might be a bit chillier some days. It might, you know, I don't really know what the weather's gonna do. I am without a doubt taking this green dress, which is probably the most summery thing I've got. I'm going to take this, which I just think is so Parisian, like so excited to wear that, perhaps with like my chunky docks. And then I'm gonna take this di dish dress with me. I feel like this is super transitional and just like a really nice one. And then I got this Mars dress as well. So I'm going to take this. I might actually wear this to travel in on the day on the way there because I can wear my docks with it. Always wear your heaviest shoes to travel in and that's quite a nice travel fit and I'll be able to lay it up with like a jumper or something and it'll look really cute. So I'm gonna leave, oh no, I am gonna pack it because I'm going to London for a night before I travel. I'm gonna take a pair of jeans just in case. I mean, it might be a bit chilly than I think because I feel like 18 and 19 feels completely different in different places. Is that a me thing or is that an actual thing? I love this. I'm going to take my little Zara top. It's all floral. It's quite a bridal vibe top actually. And then of course, just some light t-shirts. I literally think I'm just gonna do like a plain white t-shirt and then I'll put a vest in as well. Honestly, you'd think I'm going for a week. With regards to workout clothing, I'm actually going to leave that out because I'm going to wear it tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do my little Lululemon bra, some Lulu leggings, and then I'm gonna take my Converse. I just washed these the other day. So these will be great because I know I'm gonna walk so far and I'm not gonna go and do a ton of cardio at the gym. So. I don't need like proper gym trainers. <laughs> I am gonna put my resistance band in though. Ooh, do I put this skirt in? It is cute. This is where I really should have planned outfits and I really haven't. I'm gonna put it in just because. For my evenings in Paris, I'm going to put my little black dress in. I'm also going to do the ecru jeans just as an option. I feel like that's a very French thing to have like all the beiges and creams. I've got quite a nice outfit that I'll be able to make actually with what's in my case and these. I might even travel in these, you know. I'm going to put my black dress in or will I even wear it? I don't think I'll wear it. I feel like I have enough options there for kind of daily things. So I'm going to, I was really struggling jacket wise with what to wear. So I'm thinking I, oh, but it is supposed to be 19, but really how warm is 19? Okay, I'm gonna travel in my green Burberry trench coat because it's just great for kind of every eventuality. I'm gonna put in my trucker jacket from Levi's. This is just such a staple piece for this time of year for me, as well as my cute little Gucci cardigan. And I think I'm I might also throw in my mango blazer just because it's really great for evenings. If I end up doing something in the evening that I didn't anticipate or I feel for some reason like I have nothing to wear, I can literally put this on with almost anything. Let's get some shoes. I feel like I'm happy with my shoe choices. So like I said, Converse. I'm going to travel in my chunky docks, which I do think are essential. I'm definitely going to take those. I'm going to take my Chanel Espadrilles uh, along with my my and other stories orange heels just for a bit of color and then my chanel grandad sandals i feel like that covers every eventuality i can wear these in the evening and then i can also wear my chanel sandals in the evening if i'd like these also kind of work in the evening and then my converse if for some reason i get blisters or when i'm walking like i will probably wear my converse out every day and then take like some shoes in like a tote bag or something that's that's the type of trip it's gonna be so that's pretty much it clothing wise i've got my everyday makeup bag i'm just gonna add in some spf 30 
Dirty and some SPF 50, both of which are from Garnier. And I mean, like I said, I don't know what the weather's going to feel like, but I definitely want to, you know, not burn. That would be great. So this is the makeup bag. Something that I also do as I pack. If there's things that I'm not going to put in now, but I want to put in the morning, for example, like my retainer, I make a list on my notes on my phone. That way I never forget anything. It's what's kept me safe this, like, for many, many years of traveling. That's how I don't forget anything. Accessory-wise, I'm going to travel with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And then bags, I'm going to take my black Chanel and my white Chanel. So very basic of me but it's pretty much like that covers all bases for me they're both daytime and evening appropriate now i would much prefer to be taking these in some carry-on luggage but i just don't think i can justify taking a carry-on luggage along with this suitcase for three nights i just don't think i can do that i think i'm fine and then sunglasses wise i'm just going to take a pair of ray-bans and then these are actually new from and other stories i adore them they're actually green i don't know if you can tell but i really like them so i'm going to put those in my hand luggage or am I not gonna put the Ray-Bans in my hand luggage and then put these in my suitcase if you've been here for a while then I'm sure you're probably thinking but Emily where's the Ugg blanket here it is I travel everywhere with my Ugg blanket okay leave me alone I like having the home comfort of a blanket it's something that I have done I don't even know when I started it I got gifted my first ever Ugg blanket from my friends Laura and Millie who were managing me at the time and I just loved it. I really took to the blanket. Now I have many and I travel with them so it's just like a little comfort thing for me. But I think we're getting there. I'm also going to take a tote with me. So as I said if I'm walking around and I want to take a bag I will take this. I'm thinking do I need tights? But is it even going to be tights weather? I don't I don't think it is. I th genuinely think it's going to be a bit warmer than that. Maybe I'll be like eating my words in a few days and I'll be freezing in the vlog and you'll be dying but it's fine. I think the only thing that I'm missing is perhaps a hoodie but I think I'm probably going to travel down to London tomorrow in that hoodie so I'm not going to pack it. And then just some chargers for now. Oh um straighteners straighteners and curlers my hair's got a hair mask in at the moment i was supposed to tell you that at the start if my hair looks weird i have a hair mask in i'm going to take both curlers and straighteners i feel like my case is way more full than i originally anticipated and i've forgotten something i looked at the extension lead and remembered i need my adapter i think to be honest that is everything i'm going via Eurostar, so it's like not that deep you know they're not gonna like make me pull my liquids anywhere or anything crazy like that so i'm quite happy with that it's a lot more full than i thought it would be but it's fine there's not really much I can do about that I mean I've got my bag that I'm taking with me I'll just slip my laptop into there and that will be fine but to be honest I think that's it really straightforward packing going for three days I'm just gonna pop my toothbrush in in the morning along with my laptop and I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I've got plenty of things to keep me warm. I've got a couple jackets. I, I might put like a jumper in. Maybe that's like the only thing I haven't got in that I might, yeah, I might put a black jumper in, which this is me anticipating bad weather. I feel like I've covered myself for warm weather and I might actually put this on to travel in as well. It would quite tuck quite nicely up kind of under the dress. So yeah. That is everything I'm packing. Let me show you the case. Okay, so this is this side. I've got my bags up here, makeup, a jumper. Then I've got my electricals. I've got my docks in there because like I said, I'm going to London for a night first. So they can kind of sit in there for now. And then I've got some hair bits, camera stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna slip my charges in kind of on the day. And then underwear's in here. And then this side. I've got my Ugg blanket and then under there I've just got all of my clothing with socks, dresses, this is a cardigan, my blazer. I feel like everything's fitted in perfectly. So that is everything that I'm packing for my trip to Paris. I really hope you enjoyed packing with me. I hope you will come and join me on the journey over on Instagram and I guess TikTok too. I feel like I'll be doing quite a few TikToks. But anyway, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video which gives me my Paris vlog. Goodbye. <laughs>